Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a lot to see in space weather. We've got solar storms at Earth, solar eruptions on their way here, and more to watch for. We will also hit two excellent stories, one on solar forcing and another on the solar health connection. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that eruptive activity has returned out of nowhere. The sunspot flaring has surged, and so have the CMEs. We gave two options for those sunspots yesterday, and they chose violence. Let's go to the GOES X-ray flux chart to see the rise in solar flares. There's not a great reason to think that'll end today. More solar flares are highly likely. To see the location of the events we've had thus far, it's best to use either the blue 131 or this green 94 angstrom view. Flashes are the flares, and you can see the two central sunspot groups we've been watching are the culprits for now although more are coming in behind them. Let's check that out, actually. Sunspots here over the last day, maturing, growth, complexity. Easy to see why these two in the middle have started flaring. We're also going to be watching the bottom left closely for more development around that large umbra. With those flares yesterday, we've got plasma shockwaves on their way to Earth. Noah's Enlil spiral here shows two small CME signatures leaving the sun exactly in Earth's direction. The bigger flares over the last day were responsible, and they expect a consecutive impact scenario later this week, a one-two punch. Geomagnetic storms should occur for that impact, and it is noteworthy that we are in some geomagnetic unrest right now due to a coronal hole stream. Still enduring elevated speed, in the solar wind right now, and while we wait for more shock waves and watch for more flares, there is a massive coronal hole turning in as well. That'll face Earth later this week and it'll deliver powerful solar wind as well. A space weather uptick is afoot. Now, first up in the articles today is this excellent study confirming literally hundreds that came before, suggesting the sun controls precipitation regimes over Asia. This one particularly focuses on the arid development events in Central Asia and solidly confirms that connection with space weather once again. Lastly, folks, a fantastic study confirming only a few dozen before, but on the critical connection between solar storms and strokes. We have seen this correlation confirmed several times over the last three decades, and it relates to the cardiac stress, heart rate variability, and blood pressure impact of the electromagnetic event. Folks, just a few more weeks until our documentary on Earth's disaster cycle comes out, the magnetic pole shift, the galactic current sheet, the solar micronova, and the next stage of Earth. Our sponsor, goldobservers.com, is the reason the film will be free online. Gold and silver are beating crypto and stocks recently. Their value during the fall will go even higher. And in the aftermath of the disaster, gold is a perfect electromagnetic reflector and silver releases antimicrobial ions upon touching blood. Goldobservers.com. Finish your prepping for the event of the age. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.